Yeah, I really should buy this, the soundtrack for this game. I love the game a lot, and yet I have not bought the soundtrack yet. It's on Bandcamp, so it's not terribly expensive, but I really need I really need to, because I enjoy the game and I haven't bought the soundtrack. In the four years I've been in the four years I've been playing this game, I have not bought the soundtrack yet. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Hey guys, Zach Mercy here, and welcome back to Shovel Knight King of Cards. So, in the last episode, we took on the Order of No Quarter at Justice and failed horribly. We got a couple of merit medals out of it, but the Order of No Quarter remains unbeaten at Justice. Uh, we got we got a couple of merit medals. We broke a hundred, but I don't think we're going to be beating the rest of the Order of No Quarter anytime soon um, because they're just they're, the way they work is that they have different gimmicks to what you normally would see in a justice fight so so they're different from other justice players and they're, therefore I could not beat them they have their they have their own unique strategies they have their own unique cards which makes it a lot harder to actually beat them so unless I can actually figure out a strategy on how to actually beat them I probably won't but in any case we're going to be moving into this level here um so all right right off the bat we got tornadoes Oh. Oh, that's how this works. Okay. Well. Well, I can't... I can't say this isn't interesting. Okay, this is an interesting level layout. But I'm always concerned when playing these levels if did I miss something. Because I've missed some things a couple of times. Why do I get the feeling? Aha! I did! I felt like there was something there and I was right. <laughs> Okie doke. Ah. Oh. Alright, there's my first mirror medal. I'm assuming. Okay, and it doesn't land me right on the spikes. Oh, that's good. That's helpful. Okay, this is a fun little level. I like this one. Um, it's just take the cyclo- jump into the cyclones, and that's the whole premise. <laughs> that's all I needed. I will say, Yacht Club Games is definitely experts when it comes to level design. I'll give you that much. Alright, now how do I- Hmm. Well, there doesn't... Well, there's gotta be a way to get up there. There's gotta be. Alright. Well. I do like this level. This this level has a fun design to it and a fun gameplay aspect to it. This might be one of my favorites for, in the whole game. Also, new music! Uh, most of it has just been remixes of previous pieces of music we've already heard. This is new music. Completely 100% new music for the new game. Well, not in the new game, but the new DLC for the game that I'm currently playing. And I have been for the past th three and a half years. Uh, this... Yeah, if you guys don't know, this game's a big part of my history. So, uh... Yeah, if you want to watch it from the very beginning, watch it from the very beginning. This game has been around in my library for... Since I started my channel, actually. So be sure to check it out.
Ah, if I, if I just wanted to cheat, I could have just done that, but... Alright. I died. Okay, but I got the merit medal! I cheated to get it just a little bit, but I got it. Now, I'm also trying to save up money so I can buy back some of my Justice cards for my last session of this. Uh, cause it didn't end well with the Order of No Quarter. I kinda lost some of my cards. Uh, I love this. I, I do like this music. I really should buy the soundtrack for King for um, the entire Shovel Knight game. I, re I really should. I haven't yet. I I haven't yet. But it's on the it's on Steam, but I haven't bought it yet. All right. Yeah, I really should buy this, the soundtrack for this game. I love the game a lot, and yet I have not bought the soundtrack yet. It's on Bandcamp, so it's not terribly expensive, but I really need I really need to, because I enjoy the game, and I haven't bought the soundtrack. In the four years I've been in the four years I've been playing this game, I have not bought the soundtrack yet. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I thought I went in there. Okay, that's how I get in. Alright. How do I get through? I, the level's a lot of fun, but I don't know how to progress any further. Okay, how do I do? That was not how I do. I still don't know how to move on. Although, I can't imagine there's much left of this level, since I've found two of the Maramiles already? Um, there's a lot of Maramiles left. Um, not many. It's like 30 or something, but... But I have most of the Mara Medals. And there are there are quite a few left though. Some of which are locked behind the order of no quarter, so I probably won't be getting those in the playthrough, but I I the rest probably. If I can help it, I'll get as many Mara Medals as I can. There we go. It took a little finagling, but I got it. I finally figured it out. Oh, this is how. That's how I get up there. Okay, no. Well, that's how I get in that secret. Also, Dragon Knights. I have not seen these before. Ah! There's my secret. Alright, that's the third one. Which means now I can just focus on clearing the level. That's a fun little secret. Oh, uh, this level is one, definitely one of my favorites. Because it's just how it works. I've never fought one of these things before, though. There is a... There is a unique character in in um, Spectre Torment that's similar to this guy, but I've never fought one of these guys before. He, that guy was completely unique. I've never seen that before in, the, in, a, in a game of Shovel Knight. Um, in none of the campaigns have I seen an enemy like that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he. I've never seen this guy before. He throws a sword. He's spitting fire. Never before in my life have I seen this guy. All right. Well.
Uh, what? What's the goal here? Oh, I gotta figure out which one takes me to the... Okay. I get it. I gotta figure out which one warps me to the... Or not! Maybe I'm just supposed to jump in. Maybe I'm just supposed to jump in and go, Hi! <laughs> That, that might be just what I'm supposed to do. I'm just supposed to jump in, leap in. Oh. Okay, that's how I'm supposed to. Does it stop? Is it gonna stop? Yes, it is. Okie doke. I think I'm just supposed to leap in. Go! Alright, there we go. Well, that was a fun little stage. Didn't even take me that long. Only took me 15 minutes. Alright. Alright, well now we can move on to the next area, the Heavyweight Heights. So, we found the next stage of the flying machine, which would explain why there might be a path through the mountains. Yeah, that would that would explain a, th a couple of things. Um, this is still part of the flying machine. Um, so yeah, after clearing the flying machine, we'll move on to King Birder, and then after him? I'm not sure. There's usually four squadrons that you're supposed to travel through in a, in a game of Shovel Knight. I um, mean, a game of any of these campaigns. Um, Spectral Torment being the sole exception, but it's usually four quadrants. So I'm assuming after him we're going to have to go through the fourth quadrant, which is usually the Tower of Fate. So we're probably going to be moving on to the Tower of Fate in the next couple of episodes. Um, which is going to be fun, because Tower of Fate is usually the final destination, and it's usually one of the harder ones. So we'll see how it plays out, but... Yeah, what can I buy? What can, I'm gonna go back. I don't think I can buy any armor or anything, but I can at the very least buy all of my cards back. I can at the very least do that and maybe buy a couple of health upgrades. Because I'm close to buying all of my max upgrades. 105. Uh, I need 110 to get his next poem. Um, uh, you're still talking. You're still talking about how you want to have babies. It's fine. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I'm sorry I'm making, I'm making a joke like that, but that's, a, that's what's happening. They've fallen in love and are going to get married. It's cute and adorable. I mean, King Knight doesn't think so. He's not entirely happy about the fact that, that King Primar might be his new daddy, but... Okay. Next one is 10. And I'm assuming that's the last one. Yeah, 90. We're, that is definitely the last one. Um, but yeah, we couldn't... I couldn't beat these guys. I couldn't beat anybody at the, at the table. Um, I beat a couple of them, but the... Overall, the Order of No Quarter people are kind of harder to beat. Because it makes sense, because they're kind of the, the one of the more powerful knights in the realm. Um, so yeah. Also, I didn't notice this before, but uh, Mona's back here petting one of the spin wolves on the head. It's adorable. I love it. Alright. But in any case, let's buy let's buy our stuff back. Uh, how much? Mr. Hat? Fish Head? King Pride More? Rung Strider? Uh, it's gonna cost. It's gonna cost quite a pretty pain to get all these back, but oh, oh I got marginally less expensive. Okay. Oh, I can reclaim them all. I don't have the money for that. I could have. All right. It might have been marginally less more less expensive to buy to spend money on buying them all. Uh, that, that's my mistake. No, actually it wouldn't be, because it's combined total. I'm gonna buy Rung Strider. Yeah, buy it. Buy everybody back. And then I need a lot more money to buy these guys. Alright, so I got 42% of level 1, 21% of level 2, and 30% of level 3. I did not know about that one. Okie doke. Well, in any case, I've almost gotten everybody back. I'm gonna need a bit more money, but... Oh, I forgot I could do that. 
I forgot I could do this and just grind for infinite um, magic if I absolutely needed it. It'll, it's always funny. It's always fun. Mr. Hat's... Mr. Hat is always a fun time. Um, I don't know. What can I buy? Um, I'm running out of stuff I can buy from you. It's 10,000 for this, and then I'm assuming that's it? Hmm. Alright. Well, in any who, in any case, in any who's or what's it, I think it's about time we moved on. Geronimo! But in any case, I think it is a good enough time to leave it off. Um, next time we're going to be conquering the last stage in the flying machine levels. Then we're going to be moving on to King Burner's level. And then, presumably, the Tower of Fate after that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. You can also check out my Patreon in the description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month. It really helps me out. And you guys get access to a bunch of cool perks that are my way of saying thanks. So be sure to check those out in the description below as well. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.